Yo, 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 what's happening, people? Okay, so I'm not told you guys about something. Actually. In fact, I want to ask you something because like, I was listening to the radio the other day and I was talking about like games that people used to play in school. So I want to know, first of all, I want to know if you played these games in school and also want to know what you called them because I guess, you know, these had different names in different parts of the country, which never really occurred to me before, though I guess now it seems like, why wouldn't it, right? They, 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 people would have different names for, different, uh, for the same thing. But anyway... I want to talk about some of the games that I used to play in school, and I want to let you know now that the, the, we, we, we were delinquents back in school. Like, we, I am not encouraging this kind of behavior at all because we were delinquents back in school. Um, but I ain't gonna lie, man, we had some fun. <laughs> we had some fun. Um, but when was in uh, when I was in primary school? Um, this is probably a popular one actually, but I guess this one definitely has different names in different parts of the country. Um, different parts of the world, I'm sure as well. But there's a popular one that we, used to, that we, that we did is that we, we called it knockdown ginger, right? And basically what you did is that, you know, when we're done with school, we got on the way home, whatever, you know, we'll knock on somebody's door and then run away. <laughs> you know? And then of course they'll come out and there's nobody there. And they're just looking around like, what's going on? What's going on? We, 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 we call it knockdown ginger, but I've heard people call this, um, like knock run knock knock door run i think i heard one called or knock run something or i, I, can't, I can't remember but it was, i'm sure it was like knock something run or knock run something um which honestly is probably a better name actually than i mean knock down ginger i don't know where that name came from like i don't know who came up with that name i don't know the etymology of of like ginger like knock down i don't know i i don't know but that's what we call it that's what we call it. it was knocking on people's doors and then running away we called it knockdown ginger and yeah we were delinquents i told you we were delinquents okay so i'm not encouraging this i'm not encouraging this um now in secondary school um there's there's a bunch of things we did like there was one called this one i'm, I'm blanking on the name a little bit i think it was called the valley of death i think we call it the valley of death it was definitely the something of death I'm pretty sure of that much with the something of death. But I think it was the valley of death. And what that was is that we'll go to a playground, right, where they got the swings. And you'd have like, you know, like the four swings, right? So like four people be on the swings and they'll be like swinging back and forth. And you could probably guess what happened next. But they'd be just swinging back and forth, back and forth for like four people. And then you had to run in between them swinging and try to dodge the swings. And of course, you just get smacked. And like the way you just be like thinking you're doing all right. I've dodged that one, dodged that one, then boom, boom. And you just get knocked and just get sent flying. Like, mate, I, I, I can remember getting hit by a swing and just like on the other end of the playground, just being knocked so far back. But yeah, we did that, man. We did that. Just like trying to dodge the swings right in between. I, I feel like it was called Valley of Death. I'm going to go with Valley of Death for now because that's what's in my mind right now. Although I'm not 100% sure. But let's just go with Valley of Death for now. It was definitely something of death. But yeah, did you did you do that? Or what did you call it? But yeah, delinquents, I'm telling you. Another one we did. Um, this one, I'm sure, was called the Tunnel of Death. Like, we call it the Tunnel of Death. And what that was... Um, was uh, uh, like you have a bunch of people, kind of like you know, like a like a rugby. I think it's called a rugby scrum. You know, where you kind of huddle together, but rather than in a circle, you're more like in a line. So you have like you know, like like say somebody in front of me, kind of huddle like that, and then a the line of people just kind of huddle together, and they'd be just like kicking their legs, just kicking, 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 kicking their legs. And what you had to do <laughs> was crawl in between everybody kicking. <laughs> And you, you can't dodge it because it's just, it's too close. You, you, you so you just have to crawl in between everybody just kicking you, just like bang, 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 just kicking you, kicking you. And it'd be like, I don't know, like maybe five people on one side, five people on the other side, stuff like that. And they'd just be like throwing their legs, kicking, kicking, kicking. And you just have to crawl through it, just getting kicked, getting kicked <laughs> until you get to the other end. Yeah, we did that. We did that. In fact, another one we did, where I don't even remember how it started or what the reason was, but I remember another one we did was like every I think it was every Thursday after music class because like where the music room was, like you'd come out and it just be it won't wasn't really part of the main school, so there weren't any teachers around or not no certainly not many uh, teachers, uh, so you'd come out the class um, of the music class and the music teachers didn't really. <laughs> There we go. Nobody did. So you'd kind of come out and they'd just be like this 
kind of small uh, sort of hallway. And so what we'll do is every Thursday after music class, um, we'll just pick somebody to rush. We'll just pick somebody to rush. Everybody got it. It don't matter if you're you're the popular kid, if you're the tough kid, if you're the nerdy. It didn't matter who you were. Somebody got picked to get rushed. And it was every week we did that. And um, I mean, I got rushed. <laughs> Other people got rushed Every week somebody got rushed But you just knew like Because it was I mean it's all for fun right And you just But you just knew If somebody like Kind of got you Like somebody got you like Hard Like they got you like Real hard Like harder than like That you thought Oh you know what That one's a bit hard actually Because everyone Because it was all for fun So you just kind of kick You're not really Trying to do it for, to, to be mean But if you got hit Or kicked or whatever And you just kind of felt Oh that was a bit hard actually Next time when it's that person To get rushed You make sure you get Some thumps in <laughs> You made sure you got some Thompson when somebody got you hard. You're like, all right, cool. I remember that. I remember that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we were. Del- I'm telling you, we were delinquents. Um, what else did we do? Oh, another one we did. Um, we called this one. Uh, what do we call this one again? Um, we called this one Richard Kid. Richard Kid. So what this was like? We'll go to like a, a, a like a block of flats and. Just run around these block of flats playing had. So you know, you know had like you know had your it or tag your it depending on you know where you're in the world to tag your it had your it. It's you know what you play in the, doing the playground had had like you know that's saying you have to chase a person and you had them and they're it and then they have to chase other people and they had some. That's what it was, but in a block of flats. Now I don't know where the name Richard Kid came from. <laughs> I don't know who came up with it. I don't know who's Richard. Who's the kid? I don't know who's who's Richard. I have no idea, but that's what we called it. We called it Richard Kid, and. um yeah, but we'd be running around these flats. And of course, nobody, li- none of us lived in the flats. It'd be like maybe, I don't know, five, six, seven of us. None of us lived in these flats because you're not going to do it where you live. Of course not, right? Um, and by the way, real quick, if you live in a block of flats, shut the door. <laughs> if you live in a block of flats, shut the door because the amount of times we just go to flats and the doors were open and we'll just walk in and then run around these flats playing ahead. It was mad. It was mad, and of course, like the neighbors, would, uh, the the residents would be coming out complaining and stuff like that. But people just left the door open. <laughs> people just left the door open. It would just walk in. I'd be like, maybe if if one flat was uh, close, we'd go to another one. And it always, always, almost always, one with the door open. Um, but yeah, just listen. If you live in a block of flats, shut the door. <laughs> shut the door. You know, and if you, I know it's a nice thing to do to hold the door open for somebody, but if you don't know them, like if it's somebody you know that lives there, then all right, cool, just whatever. But if you're seeing people come up behind you and you don't know them, they're like, I, I, I don't know who you are. I'm, I don't know if you live there or not. Maybe you know somebody, maybe you don't. I don't, I just don't know you. Don't hold the door open for them. Like, I'll come, because people do that. And we'd be running around these flats just causing bear trouble. Um, but yeah, don't, don't leave the door open. <laughs> But that's what we did, man. We'd go to the uh, flats after school and just run around these flats, playing ahead, making all kinds of noise, you know, causing all kinds of disturbances. Lock your doors or shut your doors. Um, but let me tell you about one game we played in school where, um, as much as the link, as much of, of, a, of, a, as, as, as big a delinquents we were back then, there was one thing we did that was, was pretty cool. And even to this day, I, I still think it was pretty cool. Um, so we called it champ, right? And what that was is it's kind of like, I guess you could call it like tennis, but you know, you or but you don't have a court. Well, you, you kind of have a small court, but so you don't have a you don't have a uh, what do you call it a fence like a net. Um, and it's yeah, it's much smaller than a, you know we're playing in that bigger area because we're playing the playground, so it's much much smaller than a, than a tennis court. But you have a tennis ball, right? We do have a tennis ball. And you kind of mark out, uh, like a, a play area, which is usually like, you know, sort of the pillars, because we had like these pillars, um, in, in the playground where, um, you know, to hold up parts of the uh, building itself. So like you kind of go underneath there, you kind of mark out an area on, on the, uh, on the ground, right? With like, you know, chalk or whatever. And so you have like a line in the middle, which is like, so you have your box and the others are their box. And, if I'm remembering the rules correctly, because good right, this is a school, it was a long time ago, so I may be blanking on some of the rules. But if I remember the rules correctly, you you had to well if you're serving, you serve the ball, so you just kind of throw it. But a ball has to bounce in your court for, in your box first, and then cross the line, right? Now when it crosses the line, the other person has to return the ball, right? Um, to you. And when they return the ball, it has to bounce in their side first and then 
over uh, in, your, in their uh, box first and then cross the line over to your side and then you have to return it now when it crosses over the line you have to return it but you're allowed one bounce so it can bounce once in your in your box um, you, you can either return it before it bounces or you can uh, wait till it bounces once and then return it but if it bounces twice then then you lose a point or if you hit the ball and it goes over the line you lose a point or if you hit the ball it bounces in your court but then it goes out of bounds then you lose a point so it's a bunch of different rules um but yeah we play that one a lot so yeah we called it champ that might have had different names i'm, I'm sure i've played different names in different parts of the country as well um if indeed you played it let me know if you if you played that or something similar um but yeah that was a big one i remember like we we got into that and I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was pretty good at it. Like, I mean, I know, I know, I, I ain't got nothing to prove it right now. And I'm sure if I was to play it uh, at this point, I'm so out of practice, I'd be, I'd be terrible. But back in the day, I remember there was a few of us that we, we would get into it. Like, we were getting like mad low, just like just trying to hit the ball and getting close to the line and try to go fast. And, you know, like, and we're just getting like all up to that because the closer you got to the line, the harder it is to, you know, for them to return it properly without fouling. So you'd be getting mad close to the line to get and roll. Dude, like we were into that. We got into that. But that was a cool game, man. I actually kind of missed that game still, yo. Know? Like it was a fun game to play. But uh yeah, no, I I uh, play. But I'm after that, I'm after see if I can find a uh, actually no, let me not find a playground. That might not go so well. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, it's probably not a good idea for me to turn up in a playground or something. Yeah, may, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. But um that was a good one. That was a good one. Of course we played other games, you know, like has was a you know just a regular playground, how we did that. And of course, you know, playing, you know, football or wearing the playground and um later on in, in secondary school we got into more like card games and blackjack was uh, one we played a lot as well blackjack seems to have different rules in, in no matter where you go like it, like uh, an american blackjack is way different to the british blackjack and even in the british blackjack it's like you go the rules that we played were different from all rules that somebody else played in, in, a, in a different school and things like that like whether you have jackson twos or uh, you know, was it Queens of Slag, you know, or, uh, what was it, Joker is anything, some people take the Jokers, you had different rules, um, but the rules that I liked to play was that, no Jackson 2s, no, come on, no Jackson 2s, none of that, um, uh, what was it, Jack, Blackjack, uh, Blackjack uh, means you pick up five, some people are like, oh, Blackjack means you pick up the, no, no, Blackjack means you pick up five, if you have a Red Jack cancels it, um, Queen, yeah, anything goes on top of a Queen, but Queen does not go on top of anything, um, so yeah, that, that was the rules that I like to play, like, but anyway, 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 <laughs> anyway, but yeah, let me know if you played any of those games uh, in school or if indeed you still play them now. And yeah, what did you call them, man? Because these things, I get, they had different names in different parts of the in different parts of the country, or yeah, different parts of the world as well. Uh, maybe slightly different rules you might have played as well. You know, let me know. But yeah, man, that was a ah, uh, jeez, oh, remind I was, I was I was reminded of some stuff from back in the day. Not all good stuff, but. Can't lie, me. We had some fun. We had some fun, but uh, yeah, don't be delinquent. Don't be delinquent. <laughs> but anyway, till whenever, if ever, peace.